द मोस्ट चेरिश्ड ट्रेशर इन लाइफ इज पीस द मोस्ट चेरिश्ड लाइफ यू कैन रेनाउंस एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग यू कैन गो विदाउट एनीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड you can still be happy if you can only keep your peace on the other hand you may have everything in the world everything i mean everything you can add anything you want into that everything <laughs> but if you don't have peace you have nothing because all that everything that you have without your peace are not going to make you happy always momentary happiness yes i do accept that but it's always mixed with unhappiness it is a known fact history has proved it and proving it and it will always prove that in a way the purpose of the whole world is to educate us this truth mother nature constantly is teaching us this truth don't run after me i cannot make you always happy even if i make you a little happy there'll be a little unhappiness along with that if you really want permanent eternal happiness get away from me go to the father mother nature is trying to push you away how sometimes even very cruel she hits you if you keep on running after her, holding her huh? sari and say mommy 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 huh? a good mommy will hit the child no don't depend on me stand on your own feet that's the reason why in mother nature all these things people who have billions of dollars big positions have everything but they constantly get into sufferings that is a, an indirect way of the mother nature teaching us that these are all no good this won't make you permanently happy then shouldn't i go for these things if they don't make me happy should i stay away from all that no in simple words don't run after them stop running after them turn around <laughs> go to the source of the happiness that is within once you found that all the things that you were running after will begin to run after you isn't it mysterious as long as you run after they seem to be running ahead of you that's why there was a funny example you stand huh, having the sun behind your back and you see your shadow and it looks very pretty and it's oh that's really pretty let me go and catch it and you run to catch your shadow what happens Hmm? the more you run the faster it runs 
ahead of you. You can never catch your shadow. So you run and run and run and run and run. <laughs> and then certainly there will be a time that you get sick and tired. <laughs> Don't we say that in our life sometimes? Oh, I am sick and tired. If I hear anybody saying that, I am supremely happy. <laughs> Why? Because now he or she will stop running and then turn around. That is the nature. Dukkameva sarvam vivekinaha, Patanjali says. If you are intelligent enough, know that when you run after things, it's going to bring you suffering. Then what should I do? Stop running. Then where else I should go? Turn around. <laughs> you have come a long way from the source. And you turn around and walk, you are walking towards the sun, towards the light. But there is a feeling that somebody seems to be following you. <laughs> Gently look over the shoulder. Who is coming after you? The same guy after whom you were running. Right? That. You stop running after and turn around and walk towards the light, the shadow will be running after you. So seek that light first then everything will be running after you. I'm just twisting the bi bi biblical saying a little. Eh? 